Good afternoon, wherever you guys are watching from here today. I hope that it's beautiful outside for you so you guys can get out, drive your cars on some beautiful sunny roads just like it is here today. If you guys caught my last video, I went to the track, rode in my buddy ZL1 1LE, and I'll tell you, I immediately got hooked. So that's what we're talking about here today. What am I gonna do to get my car track ready, and what should you do to get your car track ready? First things first though, I do have a sick announcement. I've got some amazing wheels that I just ordered today that are gonna be here for the Camaro. If you guys watch closely, I'll give you a little hint here. Did you get it? Did you get it? Go back and try and pause it. Let me know if you see what it is. But I'm super pumped. It's some wheels I think that you guys have probably never seen before. Definitely never seen on a Camaro or maybe even seen on any car unless you follow a lot of wheel manufacturers or something like that. But anyways, I'm super excited for that. We've also got new tires coming as well. Again, we're gonna talk more about that on the things that we need to get our car track ready. So let's go down to the garage and talk about it. First of all, I apologize for the car being so filthy. Look at this, it's disgusting. Ugh. No, but seriously, it's just been raining like every two or three days, so I don't wanna wash it and then have it rain in three days. But anyways, ignore the dirt. First thing, wheels and tires here. So tires are, in my opinion, the number one thing that you guys are gonna need to get ready for a track day. Now these front tires, these are 245s, which just to explain what that means, is the width of the tire this way, so how fat the tire is. 40, which is the sidewall, so how high the tire is. Like when you're seeing low profile tires, those are usually 30s, 25s, like the real skinny ones. And then the last number is 20, which is just the size of the rim. What I'm getting is the Nitto NT 555G2 tires. Uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, they're not that expensive and they're really high performance. And number two, my buddy who had the ZL11 LE, I believe was running them and they were extremely sticky last weekend. So over these things, which are a really, really hard compound because they are run flats, these are just terrible for track. They're great for everyday driving, even though they're considered summer tires. They're just way too hard and not sticky enough. So what I'm gonna end up going is bumping up the front as well as the rear 20 millimeters on each of these and probably jumping down the sidewall about five. So this on the fronts, I'm gonna run 265, I might do 275s depending on fitment, they might stick out a little bit, um, a 3520. Now the reason that I'm not doing like 295s on the front or anything like that is because the Camaro already has problems kicking up rocks down the side here and if we go any wider on the front, we're gonna have major problems which is why I don't wanna do that on the front and I only wanna do that on the back. Now if we go around to the back, again, same thing. You're seeing 275, 35, 20s. So what I'm probably gonna end up getting is 295. I may go a 35, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll probably go a 35, stick with the same there, and then obviously 20 for a 20 inch rim. So that is pretty simple. And again, tires I think are the main thing that you're gonna need for a track day just for safety. And if you wanna put down good times, these things are gonna make a huge difference. Item number two that you're gonna need, right up here in the front, a tow hook. Now this is usually required by all tracks, autocross, whatever, just in case your car crashes and they need to tow your car off the track, so you need to have a tow hook up front. I'll put a picture here. No, it's not a sex toy, it's to screw it's to screw into your car here on the front. Now the nice thing about the Camaro is that it actually already has a spot for the tow hook. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's actually a hole right there. You just go ahead and screw it into, it's super easy. And this little piece of plastic here actually clips right off. As you can see, it's two separate pieces. So you just pop this piece of plastic right off, screw in your tow hook, and you're good to go. So that is simple enough. 
Item number three that you guys are gonna need is to protect the noggin here. That's a helmet. On a track day, you have to wear a helmet. Usually, I don't know of any tracks to where you can go and drive out there and you can't wear a helmet. This is something I actually know nothing about. I've never bought a helmet. I've never done anything like that. I'm a little hesitant of buying one online just because I have such a big ass head that I don't know what's gonna fit and what's not gonna fit, so I definitely wanna try something on. So if anybody has any good stores that they recommend, whether it's a motorcycle shop or race shop, whatever, where you can go and try on helmets and they're good prices, everything there, Post it down in the comments below and let me know. That would really help me out. And then next video, I'll go ahead and post it up. I'll let you guys know how the experience was, everything like that for buying a helmet. So that would really help me out. And uh, those are basically the three things that you need to run your car on the track. Chevy has actually stated that Camaros and Corvettes, you can run those cars on the track and the warranty still stays valid. So that's a bonus here, but insurance is a totally different story. If you end up crashing your car or you run into somebody else or somebody else runs into you, you are shit out of luck. Insurance is not going to cover that. So just so you guys are aware, if you wanna track your car, be extra, extra careful with it. Make sure nobody hits it on the track or anything like that. It's 100% on you. That's all I got for you guys today, getting the Camaro track ready. I'm super pumped. I can't wait to hit the track next time once I have all these things all prepared. Comment below anybody who has track experience. Let me know if I missed anything as well, but I'm pretty sure those are the basics that you need to run your car on the track. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I promise you, you're gonna wanna see the new wheels and tire setup when they come in. It's gonna be sick. And as promised, I will be doing the wrap very, very soon. I know the wheels and tires, everything like that is coming first, but I also have a crazy wrap that's gonna be coming then. So guys, stay tuned for all that good stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss it. The track days, the fun, the car events, the crazy shit. So stay tuned for those guys. Smash the like button if you guys like this video as well. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.